India is battling the coronavirus pandemic. The country continues in a lockdown, a 21 day lockdown in an effort to try and control the coronavirus pandemic. I have with me Jai Ram Ramesh. He is the chairman of the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Science, Technology, Environment and Climate Change. Also an engineer by training who trained at MIT and at other institutions in the in America. Sharply on Gaganyan once more. See, it, it seems like a project which there is a certain deadline which has been put and there is no particular need for that deadline to be met in these circumstances as the chairman of the parliamentary standing committee uh, do you do you not think that it is time that gaganyan once again it was shelved earlier long ago once when there was an economic downturn should again be shelved maybe for three or four years like you say well you see uh, i personally um, uh, i've always believed <clears throat> that the original sarabhai dhavan uh, vision of space somehow has given way to a new perspective on space. Space is an instrument of muscular nationalism. Space is an instrument of making Indians feel good. This was not the Sarabhai Dhavan uh, vision. The Sarabhai Dhavan vision was space is an instrument of development, you know, mostly. Uh, and in the last uh, four or five years, uh, I think um, um, the uh, ISRO has gone on on a completely different track. Uh, it's made the nation feel good. Uh, it certainly uh, enthused the younger generation uh, and so on and so forth. But, you know, under the present circumstances, um, a Gaganyan would be, uh, you know, would again make Indians feel good, undoubtedly. But, as I said, uh, you know, even in February of 2020, when the budget was presented, uh, the uh, Gaganyan was budget was only about 30% of yes. what was required. Only about 30% of what was required. And it, to me, uh, to make up that balance 70% in November uh, would be would be ill-advisable. So I, I would say that there is no great harm in uh, putting off Gaganyan by a few years. What's the point doing Gaganyan when you can't deal uh, with uh, with migrant labor, with the issues of migrant labor, when you can't reach distressed communities and distressed families, what's the point mounting this Gaganyan, which, uh, as I said, sort of is an instrument of muscular nationalism? Certainly, not necessarily, I... not necessarily of development of the type of the type Sarabhai and uh, Dhawan originally envisaged. Certainly, I was on the road looking at the exodus mass exodus of migrants. And I commented that we, we, we can send a satellite to Mars and Moon, but we can't provide decent basic transport for our migrant labor. What well, kind of know, India is this? It's very interesting. You know, when I was in graduate school at MIT uh, in 1977, one of the first um, papers we were asked to read was called The Moon in the Ghetto Syndrome. Uh, and the moon in the Gitto syndrome was, and this was a sociological analysis <clears throat> of why the U.S. is not able to address the problems of the ghetto. Uh, and one of the one of the points that was being made in this paper that we were asked to read is that just because Americans landed a man on the moon, they thought that they could use the same systems and the same approach to deal with problems of the ghetto. And that's how it's called in sociology, it's called the moon in the ghetto syndrome. And when I saw these images, uh, you know, on television and in the media uh, in the last few days, you know, that came back to me. And I think really, as I said, we need to focus our expenditures, uh, public expenditures uh, on, on, on the basics, on the essentials. And this is going to be true for the next one year at least. And if it means a postponement, of nationally prestigious projects like Gaganyan, uh, I for one would not be very unhappy. Part of the things is that the salaries of the parliamentarians 
the president, the vice president, the uh, other other government officials, essentially in the parliamentary system, has been cut. Uh, essentially, trying to garner resources. Uh, do you think some of some of this should also be struck from, say, the non-essential needs of the science and technology sector? And let me highlight a very big program. Uh, see, there is an earmark, ten thousand crores for the Gaganyan program. Uh, do you think that should go ahead, or should that be shelved for the time being? Well, Gaganyan was uh, underfunded even in the budget that was presented. On the first of February, yes. in fact, uh, this was pointed out by the standing committee. Uh, yes. And when we when we spoke to the ISRO chairman, the ISRO chairman said, "Yes, it is underfunded now, but we expect to get additional resources uh, in the revised estimates at the t in November." But that doesn't seem to be on the cards right now, given the fact that they were underfunded by a huge amount, yes. almost eight, eight to nine thousand crores. Uh, yes, I think um, there has to be a ruthless review of all public expenditure uh, at the present moment. Um, I'm not in a position to say about Gaganyan, but clearly the manner in which Gaganyan was funded uh, in the budget, uh, in the expectation that there would be additional resources uh, available in November, now is increasingly looking an untenable proposition. Uh, there are other projects. I mean, there is this uh, 20,000 crore central Vista redevelopment project, yes. you know, build a new parliament, build new government offices, build new, uh, you know, structures. I think all this has to be put off uh, for another three, four years till the economy gets back on rail. I mean, it's going to be a long haul. And I think uh, there is a case uh, for a ruthless review of all public expenditure and confining the expenditure to essentials. And 